Yeah, this is like, no, this is, this is like tired and barely waking up. And this is like, I haven't slept in 24 hours. Like I've been gaming all night long. I finally updated my Vroid Studio. Um, or I got the new one, the new updated official version. And I thought that I could run through that today. Some of it anyways. And, um, I thought that'd be a interesting idea. Let's explore. So these are all my old models that I've done. So creating me. Okay, femme mask. You can edit the body shape using the sliders later. Um, I want to see the femme, the female, because only because like my model's female. I want to see what I could edit with it. But I know that there's supposedly there's a lot of changes to the male body, so that'd be good. Okay, already it's like this like lighter look because the other one is like permanent dark mode. So it's already really different and you have looks like a lot of things you could do to edit the face and the face sets. This is like super white. I don't know what's whiter the display or the character. <laughs> Which is like fine, I guess. Uh I think you move Okay, movement is the same. So you, I'm using the space bar and my um, left click to move the actual model. I'm very interested to see how we can edit the nose and the mouth because that is my main issue. Uh, I'm going to just look through these. Okay, already changing the face. Different eyes. This looks very cool. I don't know if I like that like very white iris though but the detailing is nice oh the ears change that changed the ears too okay the size the nose looks the same i'm curious to see if there's still that issue where the face and the body tone create a weird shadow it looks like there might still be a lining issue here but um it doesn't look that bad on this side Although they have absolutely no color, so really that's something that shows up for darker skin tones, so we'll see. Bro, these are very nice eyes, like more basic sets because we just had one that we kind of just edited as much as we could. It's giving you an idea of where you could put placement. Oh, this one looks very concerned. Let's see what we can do. So we can widen, shorten the eyes. Increase the oh how big they are too, and I'm guessing I can type this in and make them even bigger. Oh, <laughs> very anime character eyes. I can do that. droopy eyes if that's what you desire. And this is new. You can lower the eyelash tips. You see them moving here. It's like they're waving at you. Don't quite know why you would want that yet, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, and the iris size you can reduce. I was just saying, I see people doing a lot. <laughs> There's a lot you can do with this. Ah. All right, and the eyebrow positions. This is very high. You have no forehead if you're doing that. Eyebrow position X. I feel like this is nice, you know. I don't know if we were able to do that before. It just what happened here? Oh my god, is it like that is so funny. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to be able to control that. It just like completely disappeared too. Like you can see it, but the eyebrows are like oh, because they're in the if you do this, they're just straight up in her head. Oh god, no. <laughs> I guess if you don't want eyebrows on your model. I mean, that could be a look, you know. Oh, okay. And this is like making them thicker. This is really bothering me now. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely not something you could do before. Size. Okay, here we're going. And it's growing like Usopp's nose. Why are you bullying I mean, me? It just would be nice if it wasn't so, like, fine. Oh, nose width. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Wait. 
feel like you can't tell. But something is happening. Let's see. <gasps> okay, you can change the width. This is already an improvement. Look at that. You can make it very big. This is going to be a game changer. That, that by itself is a game changer. Because I don't necessarily want the nose to be puffed out. But I do. I do want it to be wide. And nose tip position. Okay, what does that do? Oh, it can make it go down or make it go... That's really good. There's so many anime characters that have just this straight up like this. Um, and making it go down. Okay. Do that with... In tandem with the increasing the width. You can make for some very interesting things. Bridge prominence. Okay. And you can increase how prominent the bridge is. Or decrease it, I guess, in this case. This is looking very good. This is already more editing than we could do in the other thing. And the width of the bridge. I don't really know what color because the eyes are like so small. But I guess, yeah, you can make more detailed faces. Well, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Uh, nose curve. Oh, I don't, I don't know if you see that. like good for like you want to have people with like angular jaws and chins oh, I, could have, I don't see what this is doing actually femme face oh my god <laughs> that fully transformed the face that is hilarious I do see that it makes sense Fem face, and then let's turn on that thing. <laughs> it just dropped down the face completely. It looks like one of the characters. Hold up, if I like, let's see. Uh, now it's one of the characters from um, The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> okay, uh, where was I? Uh, Yeah. A femme eyebrow. I don't even know what that's doing. Like, what does that mean? Now I'm left with more questions than answers. Like, it's just kind of lifting them up and putting them down. Like, are, are like men supposed to, like, masculine characters supposed to be angry all the time? <laughs> I would just leave it like this. Okay. I like that you have the option though, of, like if you decide to get a femme character, you can still give them a, a masculine face. Like I feel like that could be more options. Femme nose. What is that even doing? It just made us have no iris. Oh, okay. Here it looks like you can add the custom ones. Um, edit texture. Okay, and you can edit the texture here. It looks like the same thing that we had before. Okay, editing mode UV. World brush capacity. It gives you the same type of brushes that we had, and it shows you the it shows you the colors. So it's not too much different to adapt to. Okay, how do I exit out of editing mode? <laughs> the exit. Do you want to save this item before closing it in editor? No, close while saving. Okay. Okay, and it has some eyebrows you could choose from. This is nice. Oh, 
So they're like completely separate now, the eyelids. That had to be something that you drew on the face before. So this is different. Eyeliner. Okay, and the eyeliner is separate too. So you can like have the eye that you want and then just add different eyeliner. This is nice because you had to kind of figure out how to do that before the face. That was a lot of work. Okay, and now I guess this is nose shading. Look at that. Yeah, okay, already something. This is just purely on top. Doesn't really fit her nose size, but the idea, the idea is there. If you decrease the width, I guess, and the position, this is gonna just, kind of just shading, yeah. Um, yeah, this is just like on the tip of the nose, literally. Um, I don't really know what this is doing. This is just like a white spot. I guess if you put this with like a darker spot on the bottom, it's something. Yeah, some of these are not anything. I mean, this is the one I had on, right? Eh, let's see. We're gonna add. We're gonna edit this one. Let's see. Custom. Oh, does it start like that? No, I want to start from this one. And I want to edit it. Okay. Wow, this is like, this makes it a lot more layered. This is good, because then you're not like, you're editing one at a time, and then like, you could really mess this up. So. Okay. Um, I want, oh, okay, you can add layers. Look at that. Add layers. Layer two, so so you don't mess up the default design like I just did. I sh Already, that's a better nose. I'm not even playing. I feel like having this on and then editing the nose will give you a much better idea. Pick the same color I picked before. You're not even gonna know the difference. Did I do two layers? Why did I make two layers? I just needed one. Okay, okay, I see you. This is already looking way better than like the amount of lip I can do. And you know what? It doesn't look as blurry as it does in the other software. Like it looks nice and rounded. Oh my god, like this looks really nice. Look at that. See the bottom lip? No, this looks like a clown. Bottom lip it is, like no. Like top lip, yes. But bottom lip energy, no. What is that? Like together. Oh, I like think I'm overshading. I am overshading. What is like up to here? You know, like it has like some nice. 
pay attention. I really think it's top lip though. I'm happy I can make them lips. Yeah, yeah, that is too much. <laughs> Here, <gasps> yes, that's exactly how I want that. Looking like an e girl. Uh, 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 uh. That's what it looks in here, too. Why isn't it? Okay, I'm like, why isn't it doing this to both sides? Isn't that like the cutest thing ever? Let's see if we can move it to here. Oh, that don't look good. And so this layer is like above the nose. What do you think, this? I feel like I want to demasculinize her face now. <laughs> okay, then there's the skin. Oh, you can use color calibration. This is new! So if I want to just make the base color something darker. Oh, I don't like that. Because I drew on it, yeah. <laughs> Already, there's more variety than in the original software. Is it nice? Already here. Oh, it's just like she's wearing black.
Okay, so I edited the body and I edited the face and I fixed it all together. This is Neo 2. And it's nice because it kind of balanced it out. At least you could change the waist now. Okay, outfit check. Okay, sweater, sandals. So it's already a lot of stuff. Pulp sets built in. Okay, so they have like a lot of custom, you know, or whole sets of outfits. So this is a look. Oh, and it comes with little sneakies. Okay. Yo, even the bottom has little swirls. They went off on the on the clothes. I wonder if they bought these from the people who make them, because there's like little shops online, um, and some people like make them. I think this is a really good update, honestly. Um, it's been a long time coming. It's been about a year, but yeah, there's a lot you could do. Like even this is a look, and I just combined a bunch of random stuff together. So always save your stuff. Because, um, 